Welcome to the Brad and Taylor Show. Today we have Rachel Comet. You're listening to the Brad and Taylor Show, a podcast that inspires entrepreneurs to pursue their passions. We're sitting down with some of the best to learn how they got started and some lessons they learned along the way. Hey, Rachel. Hi. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you guys? We're good. Doing good. Doing good. Well, let's get this show started. Tell us a little bit about you. What do you do? So I'm a real estate agent. Um, I started I in the best time when the market was really high. I, I did. It, I started this year. Um, got my license in August, so I'm still fairly new. Um, and yeah. So I like it. Working I like all it. the time now. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> awesome. yeah. Especially in this market. What'd you do? Uh, <laughs> yeah. What'd you do before real estate? So I have two kids. So I was a stay at home mom. Um, nice. And then I kind of was like, I start like kind of, I like lost myself in a way. I was like, yeah. what am I? I'm more than just a mom. Um, and so then I was like, I love houses. I love, I was in the process of actually buying my second home. Um, and it was stressful and overwhelming. And I was just like, I want to become a real estate agent that can help like it's a buying your home is like one of the most expensive things you'll buy. Right. So you yeah. want to make sure it's what you want, what you need, and it's not going to be like a lemon. Right. And I want to help walk people through that step, especially cause like in school, they don't teach you anything about buying a house. So it's kind of like, Oh, what's earnest money? Like a lot of people don't know that a lot of people don't know you have 10 days from the signing of, um, the purchase agreement to negotiate any findings and inspections. Yeah. So I just like to help people with that because it can get overwhelming. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes too that no one, like just leading up to it, getting pre approved, all of that, that no one really understands, especially when you're a first time home buyer, you're going into exactly. a kind of blind. So, exactly. We need agents like you to help people walk through it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I totally get it because I felt like a deer in headlights. I was like, when I was buying my house, I was like, yeah, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Explain the process. What is all of this? <laughs> yeah, <I know>, exactly. <laughs> so, so what did, uh, what did five-year-old Rachel want to do? So, oh gosh, you name it. I wanted to be a vet, um, okay. at one point and a nurse, which would, I would be horrible at. I cannot do blood or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I wanted to be a teacher. Um, I wanted to be Oh gosh, I wanted to have like 10 kids. Now that I have kids, I don't want 10 kids. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny how that changes? The reality <laughs> right, exactly. sets in. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, That's you're awesome. still helping everybody. All those roles involved helping people. And now you're still helping people along those ways. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. It's yeah. fun. I'm not going to lie. I, my husband probably hates it because... When I go look at houses, I will get ideas and I'll come home and I'll be like, oh my God, you won't believe what I saw at this house. Can we do it? <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Is there any, uh, I know, I know you've only been in it since uh, August, but there's any, any advice that you've gotten that you've kind of like, I'm trying to stick to this. Um, that's helped yeah. you? Well, I, well, I try to always like, I want to say it's an advice, but like sometimes it can be hard. And I always try to remind myself like, clients get the right to be picky because I mean, it's a big expense. So like if we see 30 houses, I'm going to do that. Cause I want them to be able to, I guess like just be patient would be my best advice, you know, cause yeah. I've had a client who's saw the first house and they put an offer in. And then I've had a client who I've showed 30 houses and they're still looking, you know? So I would just say just always like, if you want to become a real estate agent, always be there to listen. Cause a lot of people are just, they're just stressed, overwhelmed and scared. Um, and to just be patient and just a lot of times too. So I'm going on tangent. There are times where I'll have a client and they're like, Oh, I want an, at least an acre of land. And you know, I wanted that one when, when I was buying my house. And then when you really go, they start looking and we're looking at acreages. They're like, this is a lot of land. I don't want to mow it. <laughs> and so then yeah. they are, like start to change it. Cause they actually realize like, maybe that's not what they want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think walking through those other homes too helps see, I know people go in like, they have an idea in mind. HGTV mm -hmm. probably helped with this. 
Like, I, I need <laughs> right this, now. this, this, and this. And then they go and see it, and then their budget, and they compare them both. They're like, okay, well, maybe we can take that off the list. Maybe. Right. <laughs> I always changes. recommend, like, clients to pick out the three most important things in a house. Mm-hmm. And always, like, if they don't have these three things that you want, we'll keep on, like, keep on looking. Let's, like, take this one off the table, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. and it changes too. Some people decide, oh, they're okay with no no AC or and that was originally on their top list, you know. Right. But have you guys have you bought a house before? Yep. Yep. Yeah, we're in our couple. third. Yep. You're in that your third. Thing. Okay. Yep. So how was the process for you guys? Was it overwhelming? First time around, yes, because we didn't know anything really. <laughs> um, but <laughs> thankfully, my husband's cousin is our agent. And so he kind Aww. of like took the time, was very patient with us, and explained everything. So Aww, that's, awesome. that's awesome, though. Yeah, we had, uh, uh, yeah, like the the first time, like everyone <laughs> says, the first time you're like, I don't know what's going on. You have to get your idea, and then the second <laughs> yeah. one, you're like, you're like, I know exactly what I want. Done. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Unless you decide to move in this crazy market, like Brad and I both did. Oh that my was, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Probably overwhelming. Did you have to put in like a lot of like different offers or were you able to get your first house that you wanted we got our first one yeah yours was a little wow. different mine than was mine. different though we got it off market we got oh. it be- just before they listed it we're like no we're, we're taking okay this. that's <laughs> yeah. awesome i think that's our, so awesome i think ours was uh like two offers a second one or something oh, okay. that's not bad that's it wasn't not bad. bad yeah so yeah i was like i've had a, a client who's oh my god i think i put in like I'm still working with them like four offers and they've lost the last two to cash buyers over yeah. um, asking price. Yeah. It's a tough market. That's still. crazy. Yep. What is a, what is one of the worst properties you've been to or showings you've been to in the last uh, couple of months? Oh my gosh. Um, it was in the summer. Well, August. And um, it was a bank owned property and it was like, garbage all over like on the floor you know you could tell they quickly picked up and left there's no water electricity but there's still a ton of food in the fridge Uh oh and there's like i know you didn't open the fridge did you i didn't but my client did (laughs) (laughs) oh it was bad and then there's like broken glass everywhere (laughs) but Oh my. I would say that was the worst. <laughs> Unfortunately, Rachel, I don't think that's going to be your last worst property. <laughs> I, know. I know. Hey, it, but then you see really nice. It kind of balances out. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> did you join a team when you first started? Or are you solo? I did. You joined a team? Okay. Nice. Yeah. I, uh, it's Green Key Real Estate. I joined them. Um, I My um, mom's friend got me a hold of the broker. Um, I met her. I instantly clicked with her because she she's like someone you want on your side because she will fight for you um and if I ever have any questions I instantly go to her and she's she instantly knows what to do how to handle the situation she she's been at it for like 15 years I believe okay yeah that's super helpful to have someone you can lean on in in case anything comes up because I'm sure you're still learning the ropes and everything being newer so exactly that's awesome Man. <laughs> I like it. What location are you in and what where, what areas do you serve? So, I mean, technically I could serve all of Michigan, um, okay. but I live in Jackson. So I mostly do Jackson, um, Albion, Brooklyn, Clark Lake, Cement City, Grass Lake, all that. Um, I did a house. I met you guys through um, listing a house in Kalamazoo because it was my sister's house. So okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah and you guys did great oh my gosh she was excited when she saw all the photos she's like they look it made it look so big <laughs> that's awesome professional photography hey that's our job get, <laughs> get him to the house get yep. him to the house <laughs> <laughs> what kind of goals do you have to finish out this year and going into 2022 oh gosh um probably get my sister so it's it's like as soon as i came a real estate agent it's like my sisters, I have four, I mean, three and two of them are like, let's move. And I was like, cool. Um, <laughs> but my goal would be just to get her to close on her house. My one yeah. sister, cause she's moving from all the way from Arizona, um, back to Michigan. Wow. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. I was like, are you sure it snows here? Did you forget that? 
<laughs> is she moving this time of year too? Yeah, she's um actually she'll be here in like January, so she's she's coming in Into at the, the perfect it. time. Yeah, <laughs> when it's all gonna get all nice and cold. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. If you could start over today with all the knowledge that you've learned over the months that you've been in real estate, what's one thing that you would change? Hmm. Ooh, that's good. Um, I don't know if I would change anything just because every mistake I, I've made, I've learned from, and you best yeah. believe I'm not going to make that mistake again. <laughs> like, <laughs> Um, I always think like the field too, this field's always like, I feel like changing and there's, it's not black and white, right? Because when you're buying a house, there's so many different emotions. You have the seller's emotions, you have the buyer's emotion. Um, and there's always like, you know, some people have to sell for certain reasons. Others are just like, eh, you know, I'm, I just, you know, might as well. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. but, um, I would, I don't know. I don't think I would change anything. I, okay. It's brought me to where I am and I've learned a lot. Yeah. Awesome. Well, how can people get a hold of you? Um, I, if you go onto my Facebook, um, you will find all my information, my number. You could Facebook message me. Um, it's a uh, green key R E Rachel comment and you could get all my information there. Sweet. I like it. Well, Hey, thanks for coming and sharing your story with us today. Yeah, thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Are these working? There right. we go. Oh, there we go. I think they're working. Should we tell them? Uh, Mine keeps falling. It doesn't like my voice. What do we got to tell them? Subscribe. Subscribe? What do we do? We got to point at it? Hey, I think there's a subscription button. Like, it might be. It might be there. It might be right there, too. Somewhere. Somewhere. Find it. It's red. Yeah. And red. it's blue. It's green. I don't really know. It's, it's a color. This mic isn't even attached. Did you plug these in? Well, I guess so. Uh, I wonder if they can hear us. Yeah, I wonder if they hear us. Well, we should probably tell them if, if they can hear us. We should probably tell them also give us a five-star review for listening to on Apple. That'd be cool. Five, five star stars, review. guys. Share it with everybody they can think of. We won't take but, four stars. I mean, I don't even think these are on. I mean, this No, is, I don't think this is working. This is not working. <laughs>